So welcome all of you to Hyper. So today we are going to learn about boiler plate code in HTML. So first of all we have to open the VS code. Okay. Then we have to create a folder. Uh, normally uh, select the folder and go to and again so you know just click on file then click on open folder select the folder then click on select folder so it will automatically runs okay. so here we have created the folder then we have to create a file named as let the name is index uh, dot html we can also add the extension index dot stm stm and both html are the dot extension for html file so why we have named it the index dot html because uh, the name is the standard file name for the main html file of a website so it's mainly active as the acting as the main file of a html so uh, mainly i can say when you navigate to a website the web server typically looks for a file named as index.html so it is the root directory of the website and it serves uh, it as the default base uh, if it exists so many web servers are configured to look for file named as index.html so when a directory is requested in a web server uh, the index.html file is called so this makes it convenient also for the developers uh, because most of the developers are acquainted uh, named it as index.html so that's why the name we are using also index.html okay so then we have to just type exclamation and then enter the default code code will be generated so this default code default code is uh, named as boilerplate code of html then in this section you can see the, the, some of the code default code generated so first of all what is boilerplate code so basically boilerplate code is a predefined template that provides the essential structure and initial setup for your html document if you click on then go to open live server then the document will be generated so it is the default document that is generated by the boilerplate code then uh, html document so we have to learn step by step of the boilerplate code so first of all we can understand the boilerplate code as a basic template so we can also refer this to as a starting point that uh, provides a foundation or building a uh, block of the html document so the html boilerplate includes the essential html code structure and includes uh, some of the commonly used meta tags like here the utf8 and viewport settings also it contains plain like a style that css we are not created the css file we can create also that's css this is the style style uh, we have we don't have to worry about that it's the css file we will study in further also create javascript which is javascript link javascript.js so it can use to link okay then commonly uh, it is used to link the meta tags link to the css link to the javascript file and some of the other elements required from a uh, required also here like the title the viewport so why we need uh, html boilerplate so basically html boilerplate saves times and efforts in the initial setup of a web page so we don't have to manually type everything we have, don't have to set the width we don't have to set the initial 
that coding that is the ATF8. So we don't have to specify that it is in English. That is EN specify the English. Uh, that's why. And it is also used to building responsive website and web applications that are customized according to our need. So with suit device that is there. So uh, we have explained the general HTML value to code. So then we have to go to the doc type htm so the first line you can see so the first line in the html boiler code that that's specify the version of html we are using uh, the version so we have to use this line because if not used then some of html5 tags like uh, footer article etc will not work so which is used to Specific version of HTML. If we are not using this, some of the ads will not work. So for the kill. Then that you can see the head HTML lang dot ea. It's mainly specifying that is the code here written is in English language. Then this the head tag. So this tag will contain the information about documents like the title and uh, it is also used to link to the CSS file and link to the JavaScript file. So meta tags are there in the head. Then we have to go to the first UTF-8. So it is a standard encoding technique used in web pages. This is used to convert the uh, code into machine language so that the machine can understand the code and perform the required option, uh, operation. This is used to convert the code into machine language so that the machine can understand the code so after that there is a title tag you can see and also the viewport so first of all that the viewport so as the name suggests, this will show the area of the browser which is used to display the content with the value that is width equal to device width, uh, width and uh, it will set the width of the device and the initial scale that is 1 it, uh, you can see here 1.0 so it will set the zoom level which is in this case is 100% then after that you can see the title tag the title tag is uh, used to it will show the title which is visible on the top of the web page in the browser you can see her writing right here you can see here and this is showing that high tech so it is right so from that uh, the view tag is already done. Then you can see it is the linking the CSS file. The link tag is used and it is also used to link the JavaScript file. After that, the body tag. So the body tag will contain all the content of the web page, whether the paragraph, text, heading, images, video, etc. The CSS and the JavaScript file. You can also add the CSS and JavaScript file in the HTML boilerplate by using the link and script tag respectively. So we can also use the uh, 
you have the normal tags in inside the body tag so whatever we have to print we have to show in browser we are writing here in the body tag suppose for a Lauren C yep this showing okay so this all about the uh boilerplate code of the HTML. So thank you.